I really don't think that the cryptocurrency market is done going down just yet. Why? The United States has lost its mind. The United States is out of control when it comes to wanting to control the entire cryptocurrency market. That is not just the companies that operate here within the United States. That is companies that operate all over the world. No matter where you are from, no matter what crypto you own, the SEC and the United States government is going to be coming after it. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about Binance. Binance is is a separate company from Binance.us, and Binance.us is under major scrutiny with the SEC and the government right now, and uh, we are going to see why the U.S. thinks that they can control the entire game. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. If you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you get KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware if you're holding on these exchanges, it is considered a loan to these exchanges. If you want it to be your asset, you need to hold on a cold storage or a DeFi wallet. Guys, this is, I want to jump right into this article because it is insane how far the SEC is trying to go to, to wrap their arms around the entire cryptocurrency market worldwide. Now, the headline, this is by the Wall Street Journal, by the way. Text from crypto giant Binance, reveal plan to elude U.S. authorities. Well, I believe whoever wrote that headline there is is slightly biased against what's really going on. And, uh, well, it was Caitlin and Patricia that wrote the headline, just in case you guys were wondering. Binance, Binance exploded into the crypto scene in 2017 and grew into the world's biggest digital cryptocurrency exchange. It quickly ran into a problem, however. It largely operated from Chubbs and Hi uh, Hubs, not Chubbs, Hubs in China and then Japan, yet a fifth of its customers were in the United States, where authorities were signaling a coming crackdown on unregulated offshore crypto players. Any lawsuit from U.S. regulators would be like a nuclear fallout for Binance's business and, and, and its officers, a Binance executive warned colleagues in 2019. Worried about the threat of prosecution, Binance set out on a plan to neutralize U.S. authorities. According to messages and documents from 2018 to 2020 reviewed by the Wall Street Journal and interviewers, uh, the strategy centered around building a bare-bones American platform, Binance.us, that would license Binance's technology and brand, but otherwise appear to be wholly independent from Binance.com. It would shield from U.S. regulators scrutiny than the, the larger Binance.com exchange, which would exclude U.S. users. Okay, we we can't regulate or we can't work under the regulation of U.S. authorities because U.S. authorities are insane. So let's create a bare bones U.S. company, not giving anybody really any incentive to use Binance.us, and therefore we can keep our U.S. users, we can keep our international users, we can separate the two. Well, it seems all good until the U.S. wants to get greedy and wants to control. Binance as a whole, not just Binance US, but Binance and Binance US have been much more intertwined than companies have disclosed. They're mixing staff, they're mixing finances, they're sharing affiliated entity that bought and sold cryptocurrencies. According to interviews and messages and documents reviewed by the journal, Binance developers in China maintain the software code supporting Binance US digital wallets, potentially giving Binance access to US customer data. Uh oh, boom, 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 boom. This is getting dangerous. We can't have a company. It's just supposed to license technology. It can't be affiliated in any way. If U.S., this is where it gets crazy. If U.S. regulators conclude that these links, all of the things that were just mentioned, mean that Binance has control over a U.S. company, they would claim the power to police Binance's entire business.
which to many investors has been a black box since the start. This would also put Binance's billionaire founder and chief executive Cheng Peng Zhao in his family, or sorry, in his finances under closer scrutiny. Recently, the Texas financial regulator said in the court, Binance is filing the U.S. didn't license to operate in the state because it wouldn't provide financial information from its largest shareholder. <laughs> Guys, they're coming after the entire game. It doesn't matter. They're going to uh, they're going to try. Right? I don't know if they're going to succeed or not, but here's what we are facing right now. The SEC, the United States government, they're done playing games in the cryptocurrency space. They are going to make or break it. They do not care if crypto goes to zero. Absolutely not. They do not care if cryptocurrency leaves the United States. They are going to do anything and everything in their power to make sure that they have 100% complete and total control of the entire cryptocurrency game, not here in the U.S., but in the entire world. It, it is a matter of time before these businesses pick up and before they leave. They're going to go to the, the United Kingdom. Uh, actually, they might not go to the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom banks are getting a little weird over there. They could go to Europe. They will certainly go to South American countries that are embracing them. They will definitely go to Dubai, which is embracing innovation like crazy right now. But I can tell you they will not be stifled by the authorities here in the United States. What does that mean for you and me? That means the cryptocurrency prices are likely to continue the downside. Why? This is no longer a game of regulation. It's no longer a game of, of, of clarity. It is a game of utter control. And if the U.S. can't get control, guess what they're going to do? Make sure that they tank those cryptocurrency prices as low as they can so that nobody wins in this situation. Hey, and maybe one day in the future, years down the road, after all of these politicians, after all of these regulators and their families have bought into the cryptocurrency meltdown that they have generated... Well, maybe then we can embrace it. Maybe then we can look towards innovation when those and theirs get exactly what they want them to have. Rock bottom prices in an industry that is set to, to exponentially, I don't even know where the cap on crypto is. Tens of trillions, if not hundreds of trillions of dollars one day. It's a plan. They're watching it play out. And we are unfortunately along for the ride. Look. I'm here. I believe in the innovation that cryptocurrency and decentralized finance is going to bring. But I also know that the United States is greedy and we are going to have to roll through this. We're going to have to roll through the regulation. We're going to have to roll through the control and we're going to have to see where it takes us. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Plain and simple. Do you think that the U.S. is going to ruin innovation here in the United States? Let us know down there, and if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance free Discord. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.